It's day number three, and we are on a neat tide, so not really looking forward to that aspect of things. Hopefully we can still find some fish. You usually can, even with a neap tide, but it just makes things tough. Again, what we're doing, I'm using only fish bites as bait. I'm counting the number of species, I'm counting the number of fish that I can catch in the surf with just fish bites. This is day number three. I believe right now we're on 31 total fish and six species. I'm at a different location from the last two days. I'm looking to pick up a few different species today, so hopefully we can make that happen and add to that fish count. If you're enjoying this series, go ahead and drop a thumbs up on this video. Let me know that you like it. I'll keep doing more, but let's see what we can get into today. Well, it's been rough all three days so far this week for the fish bites challenge here. We've got a pretty strong east to west current, but I've still been able to fortunately get baits to stick with three ounces. So I don't really like going above three. Four ounces, I've noticed, like four or five, like I lose more fish because I think that that weight just pulls a bigger hole in their mouth when they're coming in. I don't like to go over three if I don't have to. Let's see if we can get some more species today. Oh, we got our first fish on. And, you know, we, we wouldn't be starting it out right if it wasn't the same fish that we've caught first every day so far. <laughs> Can't get away from these things. They are all over the place right now. Neap tide. Dingy water. We just doubled up on catfish. I will probably stop showing all the catfish. I may skip some numbers <laughs> because uh, today may be rough for cats. We'll try to grind it out and find some other species. I'm sure there's other fish around here. I'm in a different location because I believe there are some different species that I should have opportunities at versus where I've been fishing the last couple of days. We'll see how it goes. Dang catfish. Well, I wanna see one more fish. If it's a catfish, I'm probably gonna move. The seaweed has been difficult. I've been catching a lot of seaweed on my line. Nothing so far but catfish. You see these rod tips? That's seaweed in conjunction with rough surf. And it can get extremely frustrating pretty fast. See like it look, looks like there's a fish on there almost. See like that last, that one on the end, that's just seaweed getting pulled i think uh, hopefully you can see that far down i don't know but uh, these rod tips are just constantly bending over i didn't know that i had a fish on <laughs> that seaweed uh definitely makes it hard to tell when you got these smaller fish on but this is species number seven the pinfish i've been catching a lot of these out here i was hoping uh that i would get the pinfish today because uh, i knew we'd had a bunch of the surf in this area. This is the happiest I've ever been to catch a pinfish. See you, bud. Thank you. This is our third pinfish. So, haven't caught a catfish in a little while. Three pinfish in a row. I'll do it again. One more fish if it's not something other than a pinfish or a catfish. We gone. Fish on. I think we probably know what this is. Oh no. I think that was a pompano. Oh, it popped right at the beach. Oh. Uh, the sickness in my stomach right now. Oh. Heartbreak. Oh, oh, that would hurt my feelings. I got it right to the beach. There was a lot of slack in the line. I was messing around. I was trying to throw the Carolina rig, but the surf is just so fast and furious. I can't really work it too good. So I was a little ways down the beach and uh, I looked up, saw a lot of slack, a lot of slack. It's usually a good indicator of what you got sometimes. 
So I picked it up, got the slack in, felt the fish, wasn't fighting too hard until it got to the beach. It did the pompano shake right at the beach. The hook popped. It's happened plenty of times. But right now, that's, that's a major, major hurt. Man. Maybe things will get better. Get back on the horse. All right, all right, gotta shake that off. Shake it off. Whew. All right, it's been a rough morning, guys. It's been rough. That pompano would have really helped boost morale. Instead, it has only continued to crush my hopes and dreams today. So we're gonna shake it off. We're gonna feel better about ourselves. Think positive. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Species number eight. Things are looking up. The remora or shark sucker. Awesome. Let's see if I can stick them to the screen here. How about that? He wasn't sticking too good, but species number eight. Glad to see him, but you're going back. Oh, here we go. Little baby pompano. It had uh, all but died down completely there for a minute. Oh, there we go. There's a fish. There's a fish. Woo. All right, let's see. What do we got on here? Oh, uh, a little heavier. Feels like one of these heavy catfish again. Man, the, the catfish are big, the pompano are small. Oh, that, it just popped off. Pretty sure that was a catfish though. Seaweed's getting worse. See, it's on this line too, if you can tell. Fish. It's going kind of weird. Might be a fish. No, just seaweed. Oh, well, maybe, maybe. Might be official. It's hard to tell when you got seaweed. Oh, that fish did get on while I was checking seaweed. And it's a whiting. I was just about to pack it in. But seeing a decent fish gives me some hope. Uh, this is the Gulf King fish. This has already been on our species list. I'm still missing the southern kingfish. I've got the northern kingfish and the gulf kingfish, but need the southern. So thank you, buddy. I'm gonna give it just a few more minutes. See if we can get anything quality. Another baby pumping, no. I think I'm gonna pack it in there. Time's up. I was giving myself another 10 minutes and the 10 minutes are up. Right at the buzzer we caught. Uh, that one last little baby pompano. Uh, a lot of baby pompano around. So that's that's great. This is really heavy. I don't think it's a fish. Pack it in. I'm pretty sure this is just a bunch of seaweed. We'll see what's up. Uh oh, oh no. We might be adding to our species list. Blowfish. <laughs> yes. I think this is, I know it's different than the puffer. I think this is blowfish. Yeah, look at him, he's all blown up. Look at him. Look at that guy. Check that out. This was, uh, believe it or not, <laughs> this was a target species today as was the remora and the pinfish. I knew we'd been catching them in this area and uh, trying to get that species count up. So we're looking at species number nine right here on Fish Bites. I'd say we finished up strong. Great way to end. Getting another baby pompano and add to our species list, the blowfish. Oh, <laughs> look at him, look at him. Oh, there he goes. Well, to be expected on a neap tide day, it's so tough to get quality fish when the water's dirty and you got that neap tide rolling in. But 
I count today as a success. We had three additional species. We added to that fish count. Uh, there were four different species that I know are in that area that I wanted to get today. Unfortunately, couldn't entice a bite. So gonna have to work harder at that the next two days. So still got two more days to get more species, to get more fish. We're still gonna be dealing with that neap tide the next two days. So hopefully that won't hurt us too much. Guys, I hope you're enjoying the series. I will post links to the other videos as I upload them this week. I appreciate you watching. But as always, you stay bummy.